Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're coming to you today live from the floor of ITW 2024, uh, joined by leaders from across our industry who are, tell who are telling us the latest stories, trends, and innovations uh, that are impacting global connectivity. And I'm so honored to be joined by Emily Poirier from BCE Global US. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Barbara. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, really excited to talk to you. And, and I want to just start, if we, if you wouldn't mind, by just having you tell our viewers a little bit about BC Global US. Absolutely. So BC really stands for Bell Canada Enterprises, as of where BC Global USA is really a, a Bell Canada company. So our parent organization, Bell Canada, is really the largest communication organization in the country, and we have over 144 years of experience in the telco industry. And so for you are, are so perfectly positioned to support businesses that are, are uh, operating within Canada um, out of the U.S. And, and so can you tell us a little bit about what that opportunity looks like? Absolutely. So there are definitely and absolutely a lot of opportunities in Canada. You being from Vancouver, I don't know if you know that, but uh, so Canada has the, the ninth largest GDP in the world. And we also have a very highly educated workforce. Um, when you think in terms of trades also, so between our two countries, right? So between the U.S., between Canada, we were talking back in 2022, I'd say about one2 1.2 trillion dollars um, in trade. So there is definitely this major draw uh, for U.S. investments as well as for European companies as well. Um, so think as Canada as a, a hub for innovation. So we have leading edge sectors such as aerospace, such as gaming that are really driving growth in the country. But we also have this, this commitment from the country to investing in emerging technologies such as AI, such as machine learning, quantum computing. So hopefully that's going to be relevant to, to our audience today. Yeah. Love to hear about that. Love to hear that highlighted, uh, you know, for our audience here as we're sitting in the USA, right? With a, yes. with a, a you know, I think 8,000 folks here that uh, are talking about some of these things. Tell us and our audience a little bit more about how BC Global USA is uniquely positioned to, to service these opportunities. Absolutely. And, and you know, you, you, you mentioned it. So like we talked about like all of these, these, uh, these opportunities, but like there are definitely a lot of benefits of dealing with BC Global USA. And the number one, I'd say, is really to uh, get access to our parent company's network. So you get access to the largest fiber network uh, in Canada. And we also get access to 164 POPs, not only in Canada, but also in key international cities such as London, UK, such as New York, um, Chicago, Chicago, Seattle. That's just to name a few. Um, another example would be if you have a business model where you want to get access to those eyeballs in Canada. So we have 24 million customer connections out of a population of 40 million people. So that's definitely uh, an area where we can support also uh, some of the businesses that are trying to grow or want to expand in Canada. The one last thing I'd like to mention is um, maybe if you're exploring data sovereignty as a, as a concept. Um, so we are the only Canadian network provider who can offer data sovereignty, basically. So we have two fully diverse routes that stay 100% inside the country, so inside Canada. They are coast to coast. Um, and not only that, we can also offer triversity. So that's really triple redundancy. So we have that one additional route that goes through the U.S., basically. It dips into the U.S., so I want to talk about some of your roots a little bit more. Um, obviously, you know, you know, BC Global has offers so many unique opportunities. BC Global USA uh, from the U.S. into Canada, and one of these in particular, you just recently announced. Uh, you know, here at ITW. Tell us about the Secaucus route in particular. Yes, yeah, so you're very well informed. Thank you, Barb, for, for bringing this up. So, yes, we have new unique routes. So it's not only one, it's actually three out of Secaucus, New Jersey. So if you want to get to Canada, uh, get to Toronto, get to Montreal, you can learn more. We have a press release actually on the uh, ITW swap card. So it's available now up to 400 gig. You can reach out to us, learn more in the, the swap card app too. Amazing. 
Yeah, I love that. Um, and the other thing you mentioned was around data sovereignty, and I want to dig into that a little bit more. Why is that important? Definitely a hot topic yeah. these days, I'm going to say. And the reason why uh, data sovereignty is, is really important, so it's really about reducing your risk as an organization. So like uh, everyone knows that there are costs associated to a data breach, but also it's not only about that that compromised data really, it's about your, your um, organization's reputation. It's about the possibility of losing customers and really, well, nobody wants that obviously. So you wanna make sure that when your data enters a country, it stays in that country and it is protected. So that's really what it's all about. Yeah. So other than that, that's, you know, as you said, an important topic that yes. is on a lot of people's minds uh, these days. But, you know, as we sit here, again, we, we mentioned we're at ITW, and I know you've been so busy having conversations Crazy. with folks all week. We're only halfway through. Feels like, feels like it's been a whole week, but it's, you know, still only halfway through. And what are some of the trends you're hearing from the folks that you're talking to or, you know, in the, in the months and weeks that have led to this event? Very good question. So one trend, uh, and again, you know, we could talk about trends about Canada, I guess, for the next hour. We yeah. only have a few minutes here, so I'm going to try to be succinct. Um, but one of the trends that we've seen is really uh, some companies moving away from the public cloud. And so they're building their own cloud infrastructure, their own private cloud, or they're even considering a, a hybrid cloud strategy. And obviously, there is a matter of cost but it's really about getting more control over their data. So for instance, if you're dealing with, I don't know, financial, the financial industry, if you're dealing with healthcare organization, if you're dealing with governments as well, so those industries have really strict regulatory around data processing, around data storage. So uh, yeah, you really wanna make sure that your data is protected. And the reason why these companies are even considering building their own infrastructure is really to get more control over their, their data, right? So that's one of the trends that we've been uh, seeing in, in Canada. Yeah. As you said, there's we could talk uh, for another hour. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we will, but, uh, but not on camera. Um, and, and, you know, I just want to thank you so much. I know it's such a busy week for, for you and your team at BC Global USA. Uh, for anyone that that wants to connect with you while they're here or even after they've returned home, what's the best way to do that? Absolutely. Well, obviously you can reach out to me on LinkedIn, connect with me, uh, but also uh, if you want to learn more, reach out to us at uh, bcglobal.net. If you want to learn more about the Secaucus route, again, we mentioned it, press release on ITW Swap Guard. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. It was Emily, a pleasure, thank Barb. you. Yeah, it's always great to catch up. We look forward to the next time. Yeah. And until then, thank you. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV and JSA TV Live. Until next time.